How are you today? I'm fine. Have you been hearing? I hope you heard some of the discussion we've been having. I have. Uh, I've, I've listened for the last 10 or 15 minutes, so I've caught up. And uh, I want to thank Lissa for her report earlier this week in my coverage. I paired it with Kevin Gostola's update on Chelsea Manning's uh, incarceration in solitary confinement. And we're, we're at a critical stage here. And if I may, I'd, I'd like to inject some criticism of the corporate media. Because oh, no, that's not allowed, not allowed here. <laughs> Instant redaction. Despite the massive fail that is now clearly in evidence on Russiagate, uh, Dean Baquet, uh, the executive editor of the New York Times, uh, says he's proud of their coverage and uh, doesn't have anything to apologize for. And Jeff Zucker is busy counting the revenues at CNN and uh, doesn't have any time for any examination of their role in promoting this massive fraud. And the ripple effect, you know, I, I, I did a podcast, I'm just about to post it with Peter Van Buren, who's been on the vigil with you before. And uh, we had a good, good hour long chat about this today. And for me, the hypocrisy of the corporate media specifically related to WikiLeaks where they were willing to publish material when they thought it would sell papers or glue eyeballs to a screen. But now that Julian and WikiLeaks have been demonized in this phony Russiagate narrative, and we blow past all of the important revelations that came from WikiLeaks that were exploited by this corporate media in their effort to get Trump, and now they are, <clears throat> pardon me, unapologetic. Uh, MSNBC ha has barely recognized, uh, you know, the outlines of the Mueller report. They're busy saying, wow, 300 pages. There's got to be some really good shit in there. Uh, and they continue to mislead their viewers. And while those of us who are skeptical may have a moment of um, vindication, or validation, we're paying a price for it because the effort to clean up the fake news, much of which was promoted and profited on by these same corporate media outlets, <clears throat> that is all occurring at our expense. I'm not the only one who has lost traffic and no longer shows up in search, uh, you know, search results. And I post a podcast on Facebook and 13 people out of my thousands of so-called friends are permitted to see it. And so yeah. this is all part of, of a, a very big package. And we need to be relentless in pushing for you know, a just outcome for Julian Assange, in rejecting the characterizations that WikiLeaks is some extension of the Russian GRU. And we're caught in the crosswinds as Trump is attempting to capitalize on Bill Barr's uh, spin and filtering. And, and I accept the you know, general uh, notions of what Barr has, has passed along here. But we now have this period of time where Trump uncontested can promote this false notion that he was exonerated. And he's a corrupt motherfucker. And that corruption is very clear. He is impeachable, but the Democrats won't touch that because they don't think it will help them in 2020. And so we're, we're reaching a real crisis level here. And I believe fundamentally that justice for Julian Assange is a significant piece of trying to recapture some free speech rights and the momentum that independent media had before this whole scandal was dropped on us.